Hi everybody, I thought I'd introduce, uh, make an introductory video here to introduce myself and to introduce my channel here on YouTube. I have uh, a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering that I got a long time ago. Uh, I had a career in software development and now I'm kind of circling back to chemistry. Uh, and I, I've, I've produced a set of videos that I've posted here on, on, on YouTube. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about this. So it started out, th these videos are rough. As you, anybody who has seen any of the videos know that they're, they're fairly informal. They're, I wouldn't call these professional, uh, you know, they don't look, prof look professional at all. Um, I, I make, made them here in my office here with this little tiny whiteboard behind me. Uh, and it started out as a, uh, a tutoring exercise that had a very tight deadline. And, so, and you'll see that in many cases here, I probably should just have, have, have re-recorded or, you know, greatly edited uh, some of these videos, but I, instead I, I just released them in the raw form uh, because I was under a kind of a, a tight uh, uh, time deadline. About halfway through, I, I realized that, that that perhaps these videos had a bit more value than, than just this one tutoring exercise. And so I tried to actually, <laughs> I tried to actually make them look a little better. I know that might be hard to, Hard to believe when you see some of these. I um, mean, you'll, you'll hear my phone going off sometimes, and I just kind of blast right through, um, again, because I was under, under some, some deadlines. Um, I posted them here, and again, I, I, I have the book that, I, that I'm using uh, behind me. It's the Silverberg 5th edition uh, chemistry book that's entitled Chemistry, the Molecular Nature of uh, Matter and Change. Very good textbook. There's a 6th edition that's already out. I think there's a 7th edition coming. Um, I have looked at differences between the edition that I was using, the fifth edition, and, and some of the later ones, and the, 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 the changes are fairly slight. So if you have a course that's using one of the later editions of Silverberg, I think you'll be able to follow along uh, fairly well um, in, in this sequence. Uh, some, sometimes when I actually refer to a text and it matters a lot, I'll actually kind of show you the book. Um, and uh, that way you can kind of, if I'm off by a section number or a page number with the edition you're using, usually you can, be, you can figure that out. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, the uh, channel right now covers the, the, uh, basically the entire first semester of this book. This book is usually covered in two semesters in universities, and the video series that I've already recorded and uploaded um, is, covers chapters 1 through 11. And 11 it ends with theories about bonding, I believe. The theories about covalent bonding, I think, I think is what chapter 11 is. And chapter 12 picks up on phase, the, the division between the, the two semesters is, well, it's at this chapter point. Um, I will be recording the second half of this course here fairly soon and begin to upload those videos. I, I suspect that the quality of the videos for the second semester will be pretty similar to the first, although I'll have a lot more time here, and so I think I, I can actually uh, at least elim eliminate some of the mistakes. Okay, a couple of the other things I wanted to mention. Uh, again, please feel free to, to post comments uh, in, in any of the videos, including even questions or things that you felt were unclear or I still don't get this or that, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'll be on this uh, pretty diligently. I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Um, I will also be adding annotations to these videos, the, these rough ones that exist right now. I'll be adding YouTube style annotations to quickly show places where I have errors. I, certainly as, uh, when I review these videos uh, uh, subsequently, uh, you know, after I, after I recorded them, I spotted all sorts of small little errors. And so I will be point, trying to point out the more significant ones in little bubble annotations uh, that YouTube allows me to, to add. Um, I may also, in, the, in one of my comments or in the description section, I might actually try to highlight some of the areas that, uh, that, I've, you know, that I want to amend or, or kind of add, add some, some comments on that they either were unclear or just flat out wrong in, in the video. Um, I think that's it for now. I just want to introduce this. Oh, and also, sorry, in the description section, I will include the entire set of videos kind of in chronological order, starting with the ones in Chapter 1 and ending with the ones in Chapter 11. As you can see probably in my channel, uh, they're, they're almost, they show in kind of reverse order you know, by default anyway. And, uh, uh, and, and the, the videos within a chapter are a bit scattered as well. 
Uh, one, one thing I want to mention, the annotation that I use for in the video title um, is the, uh, I, they always start Silverberg, the chapter number, and then a, uh, a, a decimal point to the end. So for example, it might be Silverberg 9.5, and then kind of the, the, the title of that talk. What 9.5 means, it doesn't necessarily mean section 9.5 in the book, it just means the fifth video for chapter nine in this video series. Okay, so uh, that just allows you to, to see if if you don't get something, maybe you want to look at the earlier videos um, that that come you know prior to the number that's listed. I think that's about it. Uh, all comments are welcome. I'm hoping to do more in this area in the future. I know I'll be doing an organic uh, chemistry channel sometime in the future, um, and. Uh, I'm open to any suggestions that, that you have, and I hope you enjoy it.